Yo, I'm back. So I went and got some dog food. Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'm going to try to use this dog food again. I've used it before. I'm with you guys know what dog food is once. I see after a week or so, I'm seeing the poop, if it's wet, if it's runny, if it's solid. I'm gonna let you guys know. I had used it before and they worked good for me in the past, but one of my dogs broke out. <clears throat> and I'm thinking it was because of the food, but I changed the food and um, he was still breaking out. So I'm like, okay, it wasn't the food. Maybe it was just, you know, maybe it was the sun or something. Cause um, when I took him to the vet, they told me those are hot spots and they gave me some antibiotic stuff. And um, I got amoxicillin and stuff for him. So we're going to go back to the dog food and we're going to see what happens, man. But I started this video because I was just taking uh, Roxy for a walk. And she just, she seems so tired, bro. Like, maybe she is pregnant. I don't know. To me, she don't really look that pregnant to be a few weeks off. Or to be 20 days off. 7, 18 days off from, from due date. I figured she if she was pregnant, she'd be bigger. But today, she's looking bigger for some odd reason. I don't know. And then, like I said, she's she's acting very tired and lazy. So, I'm with you guys watch her while we go on the walk. And, um, I don't know. You guys tell me what y'all think. And for those that uh, haven't seen the intro yet, what y'all think about the intro? She look pregnant, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all don't need the leash. Not with her, though. She just, I don't know, she's just a different type of dog. She like, come on. Let's go. Come on. Roxy. Let's go. She like, I don't want to walk on the leash. I don't want to walk on top of it. I guess I need to hold it because she don't want to walk on it. Come on. But yeah, she don't do that running off. She don't chase stuff. She don't really, she just don't do that type of stuff. I don't know, she's different. But look at look at her, y'all. What y'all think? Sorry about the camera. I'm just one person, okay? She was pretty, y'all. No, she acting tired, y'all. We right by the house. Honestly, you're not far from the crib at all, literally. Look how she's acting. She got a wobble to her walk. I don't know. Anyway, she needs to exercise no matter what, so I'm going to walk her regardless. But what y'all think? Do y'all think she's pregnant? And no, I'm not taking her to the vet to do the whole... What's the point of that, bro? If, uh, it's different, like... If you want to do my Frenchies and I'm going to be doing the progesterone test and the re reverse progesterone test because I ultimately have to do a C-section on them. But I am, and she did take. But anyway, what I was saying, you know if they're pregnant or not. You know. You know. Tom, 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 Tom will tell you. You will see the damn stomach just be outrageous. All right? So, um, I will, in the next couple of weeks, if she gets bigger than this, I will start doing reverse progesterone testing because I'm thinking about doing a C-section for her because she had 13 puppies, 14 puppies or something like that. And um, a lot of them died, like five, six of them died. Most of them because they were kept getting stuck. And none of them came out with a bag. You know what I'm saying? None of them had came out in a sack. So that tells me, well, even the vet told me like the way her uh, um, her stuff is, it's gonna be very hard for a dog. Um, okay, you wanna go this way? It's gonna be very hard for a puppy to get through that. And um, I should have listened. I be thinking they're trying to take my money. A lot of times they do, but I should have listened because I would have some the stuff that died, y'all. All right, so y'all know I only have all right, cryptic cheetah girl. I um, can't remember what he named the other boy. So it was like three, four murals, three murals that survived or something like that. And then the, the black murals. So it was like three, four murals that survived. When I told you, when I tell y'all that last litter, I had like 10 murals. Like junior, um, 
the brown and white one that's in Atlanta. And um, the Brenda was literally like the only, like, you know, blue and stuff like that. And then Sandy. Okay, well, I guess I did have a bunch of other colors. But I say this to say this, I had a bunch of Merle's. And the biggest female, like, I had a really big female. The biggest, like, navy size pup. And um, she came out, she ended up suffocating too. Hey, how's it going? So she ended up suffocating too. And I'm just like, damn, that wouldn't happen if I would have did what the vet told me. I would have had probably, I'm not saying all of them would survive because naturally some dollars die. But I would have gave myself a better chance. You know what I'm saying? So you got to invest the money. It would have cost me like $1,500 to $2,500 to do the C-section. And all my puppies, y'all know, go go for well over that. So I would have made the money back. I thought I did. So I don't even think about that. I should have done it. But anyway. What y'all think? Y'all think she took it? She took. Oh, my God. This is Zeus X Roxy. This is the pair that I bought around the same time. They're only a month apart. they literally four weeks apart. So when I bought um, her, and I already, I already bought him and her, but when I went and picked her up in Virginia, I literally had one month before I had to go get Zeus. So this is, this, I don't know, it's a journey. Like, these are some of the pups, I got some of the pups I picked up at eight weeks. Like, really seven weeks, because I was already in town waiting on uh, waiting on eight week day to turn so I can grab them. So it's, uh, it's cool, man. If they took, this is the litter I've been waiting for. This is the litter that I'm for sure um, keeping the best of the best from the litter. Like, from the other two litters, I sold the best of the best only because the way that I set it up, those wasn't the litters that I planned to have. Like, because Chloe was pregnant by Zeus, I never got a chance to take Navy to Chloe. And that's, I bought Chloe for Navy. And then I knew, I, well, I can't say all the litters because I knew for sure that I was taking Zeus to Nyla. Um, I knew for sure I was going to do that. So Zeus and Nyla is probably the only litter um, that I have on the ground that I purposely bought for each other. You know what I'm saying? So those are the two I purposely bought for each other. Um, so that litter, you know, is doing exactly what I thought it was going to do. Those dogs are very beautiful. Huh? Uh, but I'm thinking she took, bro, because the way, I don't know, today, today, she just looked different and she's acting very, very tired. But she need exercise. So it's one of the things I just have to do. Um, exercising your pups, exercising your dog is very good bonding tool. Very good bonding tool. So it's very important to do that type of stuff. Also, it creates a very good trust with you and them. You know what I'm saying? If she did take, I want to be able to pick the puppies up. I want to be able to do what I need to do for them without her feeling feeling like she can't trust me. So we, um, I definitely keep my bond with my pups, my dog, very, very tight. But they all look at me as a leader, so we don't have any issues um, with them like testing me, nothing like that. But anyway, I'll just start this video to let you guys see the girl, and she's wobbling. Okay, yeah, come on, come on, I think you did take, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I think she did take. Cause her stomach is just poking out crazy right there in the middle. Um, just right here in the middle. It's like, I don't know. It could be, she did just get down eating. So another thing, do not take your dogs for exercise and after you feed them. Um, you don't want to be picking up shit all day. Also, um, you don't want to mess them up because it'll make them sick. It's like you want to get full and then going for a run or you want to get full and you try to play a game. It just don't make sense. So she uh, she did get full today, and it could be water and food. So I'm not going to say too much, but if she did take, this litter would be very, very, very amazing. And um, it's first come, first serve. As you guys know, my deposit is $1,000. Um, this is one that you don't want to miss. And it's best to just send me $1,000, and um, that, that just secures you in on getting a pup, period. Like, that just locks you in on for sure getting one. And um, you, you don't want to miss this one. You don't want to miss this one. This is very exciting. Very big, thick bulls. They're not going to be as tall as, as my other litters. Which, so if you're not looking for, you know, a tall dog, a tall XL bully, 
then uh, this is what you're looking for. This is just a, a regular XL bully. Nyla with a double XL and Navy with a double XL. And um, that's why we have such tall dogs from, from, from those litter. But it's not really that tall, honestly. There's videos of me rock, walking Roxy, walking her and Navy together. He probably like a few inches taller than her. So they're not that tall, but they would be taller because she's actually a little bit taller than uh, Zeus. But the way she's wobbling, like I said, it could just be because she's full. Could everybody have ate today? Or it could be because she's pregnant. But I will let you guys know in the next couple weeks. I will keep you guys updated on that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all.